So President Biden is refusing to commit to an independent medical or cognitive test. This is despite growing calls for him to drop out. Have you had the specific cognitive tests and have you had a neurologist, a specialist, do an examination? No, no one said I had to. No one said they said I'm good. Would you be willing to undergo an independent medical evaluation that included neurological and cognitive tests and release the results to the American people? Look, I have a cognitive test every single day. Every day I have that test. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Nicole Sapphire joins us now. Doctor, uh, this was a question from uh, all of us here on the couch. Um, we'll get into his reaction, but at some point, what is a cognitive test and why is it so hard for him to want to do it? Well, good morning, Joey and everyone else. So cognitive evaluations, there are many different ones. Um, one of the most basic, the easiest, is what we call a mini mental status exam. It takes five to 10 minutes. You essentially ask a series of questions just to try to gauge someone's ability for you know, recall, their attention, visual, spatial, um, relationships and others. So while the president continued to say, you know, I'm running the world and I take a cognitive exam uh, every single day, I mean, that's not really true. Um, it is not so, it is not so bombastic or crazy to think that an 81 year old that is annual exam examination would undergo a mental, mini mental status exam, at least have some form of cognitive evaluation because age is the primary risk factor and President Biden does have other risk factors for cognitive decline. He had a ruptured brain injury aneurysm. Mm -hmm. He has high cholesterol. He has a heart condition. These are all risk factors for cognitive decline. Well, Dr. Sapphire, that five to 10 minute cognitive test, what would it red flag for you? Would it just say something is off and we need further testing or would it begin? Because I know there's conversations I, and I'm not making a diagnosis here today, but I, I know what has been mentioned, dementia, Alzheimer's. There's even reports about a Parkinson's specialist. So in that five to 10 minute cognitive test, what could you learn? Well, and to be fair, cognitive decline is a symptom, potentially a symptom of something else. Yeah. Could be one of the dementias that you just you just discussed. And during this mini mental status exam or some sort of cognitive evaluation, you know, if you start to see that they really are having difficulty with memory, with recall, some of their physical capabilities, you may want to undergo more extensive testing, such as brain imaging, uh, like an MRI or other things. Um, at the end of the day, we do start to have some sort of cognitive decline. It happens as early as about 45. So again, it is not so crazy to think that at the age of 81, he may be having some decline. Now, the reality is he keeps saying, I have a cognitive examination every single day um, in his job, which obviously requires a lot of executive functioning. But this is a president who has fewer interviews, live events, than really many other presidents before him. And unfortunately, in a lot of those live events, people are seeing his difficulty remembering things. You know, when he just goes, uh, well, anyways, and he moves on. Like, that's something that people are mm -hmm. concerned with. That's a good well, question, I think it would behoove the, the president, it, with <laughs> people's concerns, to have this examination and release the results, well, just like they do every single year with his physical. And Dr. Sapp, real, real quick, how, how would that impact uh, an individual's decision making? Well, certainly, and it is difficulty with high level thinking when it comes to some level of cognitive decline. And again, just because you have some level of cognitive decline doesn't mean that, you know, all of a sudden you have to retire and you can't perform your job. That doesn't say that at all. But I think it, it, the American people do have the right to know what the mental and physical fitness is of their president. And that is something that has, is, we've done that every single year that they release their physical examination at 81. It's recommended to have, you know, at a cognitive evaluation. Yeah. Yep. Dr. Sapphire, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.